going to show you the correct way to do an aseptic transfer from broth to broth, from broth to slant, and from broth to plate. This is how we do it at Mount View College for the microbiology class. So, keep watching. To begin your inoculation, you want to turn the gas on and start a flame using your striker. For the following inoculations throughout this video, you will be using an inoculating loop. Here I'm going to show you how to do the aseptic transfer from broth to broth. We're going from stock to sterile. Stock meaning where the bacteria is located and you're going to place it into a sterile environment, which would be the broth in this case. I'm just going to show you the general steps on how to do it. In the next scene, I will show you step by step what I am doing. But for now, just look at the technique. First, you're going to pick up your test tubes and place them in your hand in a V-shaped form. You're going to anchor them with your thumb, and you're going to pick up your inoculating loop and flame it until it is red-orange hot. This ensures that it will be sterile. You're going to wave it off and make sure that it is cool enough for the bacteria to adhere to. You're going to lift the stoppers with your middle ring and pinky fingers. You're going to zigzag the rims of the test tubes into the flame. And you're going to lower your loop inside of the stock test tube, swirl it, and ease it up. And you're going to transfer it into the sterile media. TSB stands for triptych soy broth. And you're going to repeat the zigzag motion to flame the rims once more. And you're going to replace the stoppers flame your loop one more time and you're going to return the test tubes back to the rack as you found them. Next I'm going to show you how to transfer the bacteria from a broth media into a slant media. This is called NAS which stands for nutrient auger slant. You're going to do the same general procedure as before, flaming the loop and allowing it to cool off. You're going to remove the stoppers with your middle ring and pinky fingers. A little hard there. You're going to flame the rims of the test tubes and you're still going to swirl out the bacteria as before when you're using a broth. However, when you get to the slant, you do not want to pierce the media. You just want to gently make a zigzag motion over the surface of the media. You're going to flame the rims once more, replace the stoppers, flame your loop until it is red hot. And you're going to replace the test tubes the final type of inoculation that you will see for this microbiology class is from a broth to a plate. Now the plate media is made up of the same ingredients as the slant. The only difference is one is in a plate, a petri dish, and the other is in a test tube as a slant. You're going to do the same procedure, flaming the loop, removing the stopper, flaming the lid, and swirling out the bacteria from your stock solution. You're still going to flame the rim as well, replace the stopper, and you're going to be done with that test tube. You're going to slightly raise the lid of the plate a half an inch, inch at the most, and you're going to zigzag the motion or whatever type of street fit you've learned, flame your loop and you're done.